Welcome. I am Rick Lee, and this is Mr. Pete Tuckerman from Lion Electric. We are the U.S. Directors of Sales for our products in the United States. We're here today in the great state of Colorado to present to you our Lion C conventional model 100% zero emissions battery school bus. Uh, today, we're going to present to you the exterior and interior features of our, our product, offering you a look at our technology and manufacturing uh, capabilities and what we bring to the school bus market today. Uh, starting out, I would like to turn it over to Mr. Tuckerman to talk about Lion Electric in general. Before we get started on the walk around, I wanted to take a moment to introduce you to Lion Electric Company. Lion Electric was founded in 2008 and it's been producing medium duty and heavy duty electric vehicles since 2016. Now keep in mind when I say producing vehicles, Lion is 100% electric. We continue to lead the market in the medium and heavy duty electric vehicle class, especially in this school bus class. And we've continued to log millions of miles of real world driving with fleets all over North America and in all weather conditions. Our headquarters and our factory is in St. Jerome, Quebec, Canada. St. Jerome, if you're a local. And these have been in production since 2016. They've been deployed to fleets and logging millions of miles every year. So now let's talk about the charging port. On the Lion Electric, it's up front. This is a J1772 level two plug. We also have level three available, which gives you the CCS combo plug. This can charge at up to 19.2 kilowatts. And the typical time for charging from your 20% up to full is about six hours. Now a unique feature with Lion is when you plug this in, our clearance lights become the battery indicator and let you know the status of the state of charge of the bus. That's both on the front and the rear. This is really unique. Customers love this because once their fleet of buses are plugged in, whether they're on their way out or they're coming back in in the morning to their fleet yard, they can see the status of all their buses. So with that, let's go look at the vehicle. So the forward tilt design, Lions cantilevered this so it's very easy. Once you've undone the clasps, you just pull from our emblem. Safety is extremely important to Lion Electric. This is a noise generator. Communities and children have been conditioned to listen for a diesel engine rolling up to their bus stop. And if kids are horsing around or pushing each other and you have a very big school bus coming up to them, it's important that they know it's coming. So Lion has under 15 miles an hour a sound tune that comes out to let kids know that the bus is coming. Very important feature. Because we're missing an engine and a transmission, there's lots of fluids that don't have to be changed, that don't even exist on the electric vehicle. But there are five on this vehicle. We've got coolant. This coolant is split into two different tanks. We have one for the heating of the cab. We have a coolant tank for the electric motor to make sure it stays the right temperature. We have windshield wiper fluid and then our brake fluid and our power steering fluid. And that's it. On the front of this vehicle, we also have our power distribution, our voltage converter, and one of our battery packs. Now let's move over to the driver's side. One of the designs you'll see of the Lion C is we tried to keep as many components familiar to mechanics as we, as we possibly could. So you'll see steering gears, typical TRW steering gear that you'll find on many school buses, uh, hydraulically driven to an electric motor very easy access to our fuse panels. On this hydraulic brake bus, you have the hydraulic booster and easy access to the fill ports. So as part of my responsibility, we're gonna take a walk around on the exterior of this Lion C conventional unit. Lion Electric, when they decided to get into school bus, they were not going to be the legacy manufacturer like everybody else uses. Our vehicles are composite body, exterior skin, uh, the, the exterior skin obviously reduces corrosion uh, of your lifetime of your vehicle, but more importantly, it offers the same FMVSS protection and safety that the school bus market requires. So we're confident that our angle and our technology will be proven for the safety of our children. So as you can see, as we move forward across the front of our vehicle, we have a blue bumper. Blue bumpers represent electric. And so when your community sees a blue bumper rolling down the street, they understand that they are uh, looking at an electric 100% zero emissions school bus. Uh, more, more importantly, first responders, when they pull up to an accident, God forbid, 
that they know that they have an electric vehicle in front of them and they can respond accordingly. We have the crossing arm that is standard on most vehicles in most states. Uh, I like to bring uh, attention to the mirrors up top. Mirrors are electric heated remote, so bus drivers do not have to reach manually. Uh, everything that we do is uh, to the uh, preference and to the uh, comfort of the driver. Typical application on every school bus, you have your uh, electric battery compartment and your battery. But what's unique about the battery compartment at Lion Electric going through the uh, business of composite, we offer a composite battery box instead of steel. And we all know the corrosion after five to eight years is an issue with batteries. So we've eliminated that maintenance uh, as part of our vehicle. As we move further, one of the most noticeable features of our vehicle is the lack of fasteners. With the composite skin, we do not need all the uh, fasteners that your legacy manufacturing uh, has offered in today's world. Again, we go cutting edge, we get we, we want to do something different, and it offers all the safety with the rub rails uh, and everything involved in today's FMVSS requirements. Standing next to me underneath is where the battery packs would be located. Uh, we offer uh, three configurations, two battery packs, three or four, depending on your range. Uh, they are stacked underneath the frame rails. Coming back further, you have your battery packs Underneath the vehicle, in between the frame rails, you're going to have your traction motor. That is what drives the vehicle down the road. Uh, it's hooked up to a drive shaft and it, and it propels the rear axle. Um, the traction motor is located securely between the frame rails uh, up inside the unit. This one has a side door. Uh, some states require, some do not. As I mentioned earlier, we offer all the options uh, that the school bus market is, is asking for. So today you get to see a, a side door on the roadside of the vehicle, something a little unique. We're going to wake, make our way back to the uh, rear of the vehicle, and I want to point out the side pants, lower side pants bef between the floor. These are the most replaced part of the body. So what we've done in a whole is done them in sections. So instead of replacing the entire side pan, we're going to set it up in pieces so you don't have the financial burden of replacing and labor of replacing the entire side pan, just piecework. Making our way back to the rear of the vehicle, we talked about the front bumper. We also have a blue bumper in the back. And again, this is all based on your state requirements and it gives uh, acknowledgement to EV within your community. Rear door application, which is pretty standard. Tow hooks. Now we're coming down what we call the curbside, the side with the door. As we work our way down, you see a door, a little access door here. This access door is for a diesel auxiliary heater. If you choose to, to go that route instead of electric, we give you two options of your passenger heating. So very simple application. Uh, it's not new to the market. Uh, most uh, legacy manufacturers also use this type of application. As we move forward, I want to point out the rims of the tires. These are black. We also offer blue rims to uh, magnify the EV message to your community. So again, state regulations may have a role in whether it's black or blue. We come forward, we see another option that it's typical in hot weather states. It's the air conditioning. These are, uh, it's a two fan configuration. And uh, you know, again, Lion Electric can provide you any option that's available in the school bus market. Well, thank you for joining me today on the exterior walk around of our vehicle, the Lion C Conventional. Now it's time to go inside. I'm gonna hand the keys off to Mr. Tuckerman and he will bring you inside the vehicle to show you our Lion C. Thank you, Rick. Now let's take a look at the inside of the bus. Lion's dashboard, very clean, ergonomic design with excellent visibility for the driver, which is always important in school buses. Along the left side, we have very large, easy to use toggle switches for all of the options that we have on our buses. Air conditioning controls right at your fingertips. And the display is very important because Lion has gone out of its way to make sure that a driver can use the standard display for all of the EV functions in lieu of the touchscreen control. The touchscreen gives lots of information. It's unique, it's fun, but it can also be a distraction. So Lion, understanding that, gives customers the option to just drive with the standard console. A simple mode selection for drive, neutral, and reverse. Each switch, again, large toggle switch, easy to use. It lights up once it's selected. Off to my right, your standard controls for um, HVAC. Air conditioning, if, you, if you've ordered that option. And of course, heat. Lion has gone out of its way for driver comfort and they've given us the option 
to have both a heating and cooling system inside the dash that doesn't rely on the free blow system in the back, so the driver is, is the most comfortable. Standard school bus steering wheel with a tilt functions and telescoping for driver comfort. So all of these functions have been put together for the driving experience that is similar to all other school buses. One of the real key points was we have all this technology. We don't want to make this scary. We want to make it as familiar and at home environment for the driver as possible. So once they sit in this seat and they've put it in gear, this bus is simple to drive and drivers are going to feel comfortable with it. And it's going to be less noise than they're used to. The first thing that people notice is this center aisle. In this bus, it's 102 inch wide at the floor level. Now, don't be intimidated by that for driving. The actual wheels touching the ground are the exact same track as any classic school bus. But Lion took the opportunity with their new production line to give a wider body. So six more inches in the aisle, that means kids not slamming into the seats. That means drivers being able to move it up and down the aisle quickly and also unloading and loading, both in normal and emergency conditions, are much easier. Standard school bus height, standard school bus windows. Our emergency hatches have nice large handles that are easy to use. The seats, they're standard manufacturing that you find in many other school buses. Lion did not go out of their way to try and reinvent this. This is an important part of safety and security for students, and Lion kept it the same. Free blow air conditioning systems. This particular bus is a dual uh, split system, front and a rear. Seat belts are available. As you can imagine, in different states, there's different requirements, whether they're shoulder harness style, lap belt, or no seat belts at all. When it comes to safety and security, Lion has a few different options for emergency doors. Side emergency doors on the driver's side or the passenger side and a rear emergency door in the back, specifically designed for your state requirements. Well, thank you very much for joining us on this tour of the Lion C conventional bus. Lion Electric is proud to put more electric vehicles on the road in your community.